Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create aircon thermostat Revit family with 2D symbol. In this tutorial, I will create three part of family, thermostat faceplate, baseplate, and 2D symbol, and then load into and combine in the main family. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Let's start to create base box. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 43mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for L. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 43mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for H. Keep type and click OK. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Sketch path and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for D. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Offset 3 mm and sketch patch. Finish the void extrusion. Back to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Save the family. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter. Select instance and click OK. To create thermostat faceplate. Open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 43 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for L. Keep type and click OK. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for H. Keep type and click OK. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Sketch path and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 14 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for T. Keep type and click OK. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Offset 10 mm and sketch patch. Insert dimension and lock it. Finish the void extrusion.
Back to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Sketch path and lock to the reference. Finish the extrusion. Back to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to 3D view. Select the geometry. Click on the material by category. Search for glass and replace it. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the plastic. Search for plastic glossy, white, and replace it. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Back to front view. Go to create. Set work plane. Pick a plane and open reference level. Select model text. Edit text to 25 degrees Celsius. Place the text. Select the text and rotate it. Set horizontal align to center. And set one for depth. Go to edit type. Duplicate and rename it. Set 15 millimeters for text size. Click apply and OK. Relocate the text and align to reference plane. Go to 3D view and save the family. To create 2D symbol. Open a new family. Go to annotation. Select metric generic annotation and open it. Delete the node. Go to create and select text. Place text for T. Set horizontal alignment is center and vertical alignment is middle. Go manage and object style. Add a new annotation object and name it. Set 3 for line weight. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select the annotation object and draw a circle. Finish and save the family. To create the main family, open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select the electrical fixture and check for maintain annotation orientation. Insert and load the created base box family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert and load the created faceplate family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to 3D view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Select the faceplate family. Assign the material parameter. Select instance and click OK. Select the base box family. Assign the material parameter. 
Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for base box offset. Keep type and click OK. Move up the family and align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Go to reference level. Insert and load the created annotation family into main family. Align to the reference plane. Go to 3D view and save the family. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2500 mm and create similar. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 500 mm and create similar. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and add parameter for 2D horizontal offset. Select instance and click OK. Move the 2D family to the intersection point. Go to 3D view and save the family. Let test the family in the project. Open a new project. Select the construction template for testing. Draw a wall and insert a door. Insert and load the created family into project. There are a issue that cannot see the 3D object. So go back to 2D family and select the text. Go to edit type and change background to transparent. Reload to main family and overwrite the existing. Insert and load the main family into project. Overwrite the existing. Ok, now we can see the 3D object. Let copy it into 3 and see how to adjust and play the 2D symbol. We can adjust and play the 2D symbol because I set instance for the 2D horizontal offset parameter. Let's set a section and go to view it. And let's check in 3D view. I want to direct face the face plate to the wall. So I have to edit the family. Select one of the family and edit the family. Go to family type. Add a new family type and name it. Set zero value of base box offset for face plate access family type. Add another new family type and name it. Set 50 value of base box offset. Click apply and OK. Reload to the project and overwrite the existing. Select the families and can change the family type. Let check for scale changing in the layout plan. OK, the creation is completed.
If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.